Hey, it's Low for Low Notes here to help teach and inspire you through audio, video, and tech. And we are out of the Low Nose Lab inside of a real production studio doing a microphone comparison of the Sennheiser MKH416 against the Neumann TLM103. Now, both of these microphones are condenser microphones, meaning that they use 48 phantom volts to power these microphones. Uh, the TLM103 is a cardioid pattern microphone, meaning that it is a heart-shaped pattern microphone, where you can actually hear my voice up here in the front. And then when I go to the side, it also picks up my void, my my void, my void, voice from the side as well. But there is no pickup. There is very little pickup pattern from the back of the microphone. The Sennheiser MKH416 is a super cardioid microphone where its pickup pattern is a lot much longer than the carded, um, the carded pattern of the TLM-103. And there's also a little pickup pattern on the side and little, a very little pickup pattern on the back. Now, the Sennheiser MKH, MKH-416 is a Hollywood industry standard microphone used in a lot of feature films. Because of its unique pickup pattern of the shotgun microphone, it's able to pick up voices from about three, four, five, seven feet of way with really good crystal clear uh, dynamics and also volume and resolution. Whereas the TLM-103, its usage is actually pretty close right up in here. And as you back off, it kind of drops off. But because of the cardioid pattern, you've got, like I said before, you can actually go around it. With the MKH-416 and its super cardioid pattern, once you're talking in front of the microphone, it kind of drops off. The voice is not there, but that's okay. That's the, des that's the design of the microphone because you just want to pick up what it's focused on. That's the, that's the plus of a super cardioid pattern um, because you want to reject any kind of outside elements that are coming around, whether it be wind, tr uh, rustling of trees, uh, traffic, or maybe even a computer sound. You don't want it to focus on all those other elements like this microphone might or could. You want it to focus in on whatever it's pointed on like you're, you're the subject. And powering our two microphones, providing the 48 volts phantom power, is our Zoom H6 handy recorder. Quarter. I'm going through this recorder because I want our signal clean, dry, and as flat as possible. None of the microphones are connected to this console or mixer right here. It is not connected to a preamp or a voice channel. We are just going completely flat and dry. No additional coloration. We are just hearing the microphone on its own. Now the Sennheiser, I have it at about five um, here on the dial here, and I like to have my levels probably peaking at 12 decibels. And for the TLM-103, I also have it set as 5 as well. No high-pass filter, no compression, no additional anything within the Zoom H6. Now, like I said before, the MKH-416 was originally designed for TV productions and movie productions. But what a surprise when they actually used it on voiceovers. And at, that point, and at that time, they found out that using this microphone, it really made the voice really stand out. And especially on top of a mix. Now, I really don't know the, uh, the presence or boosting pattern of this microphone. Really can't go into that, but let's put a little graphic right here. Ah, yeah, all right. I guess that explains it, why? Um, but this microphone really, really, really kills it when it comes to a lot of radio promo work, TV promo work, when you, when you really need a voice to really stand above or stand out some kind of music or bed that it's happening underneath. Now, let's not poo-poo the TLM-103. This is a fantastic microphone as well, used for a lot of audiobooks, found in a lot of production studios, like here we go. Look at both microphones are actually being actually in this, uh, in this studio. But it has a really nice, great vocal presence to it. It'll take most vocals and add a really nice, smooth vocal presence to it. I really can't go into numbers and stuff because I really don't know all about that. But let's take a look at this graphic right here. Yeah, I'm sure it makes sense. Either way, they're both awesome, great, fantastic uh, microphones. Uh, now, why would you want to use one microphone over the other? Well, if you were, let's just say into YouTubing, like I am right here, I'm, per like, I'm pretty sure you are, um, what microphone would be better for you? Well, if you find yourself that you're constantly on camera, you're constantly probably doing gameplay videos or maybe a talking to head video, or you just want to look into the camera, you really don't want a microphone in your way like the TLM-103 or maybe like most condenser microphones because you have to deal with the microphone, maybe a windshield right here, and maybe even the, the boom arm itself just kind of getting in your way. But if you had a shotgun microphone, then you really don't have to worry about it. You can actually just place the microphone at a frame and it's still picking up your, vo your voice just as nice. That is a huge plus of having a shotgun microphone. So you really don't need to have the MKH416, just have a shotgun microphone and then that's the kind of quality or um, quality or um, usage or 
example or whatever I'm trying to say. That's, that's what you can come to expect of shotgun microphones. Um, now, I love both microphones. I've used the TLM-103 on various projects. It sounds awesome for my voice, but I actually owned a Sennheiser MKH-416 because I love the way it sounds on my voice. I bought plenty of microphones, and then I ended up getting this microphone, and I'm in love with it. It just This is the microphone that just works for me. I've actually bought microphones after this microphone, and I always come back to this microphone. This is my microphone of choice. And now, why is it my microphone of choice? Well, mainly because I do work out of my, out of my home office studio, and I do have my computer going in the background. And sometimes... Uh, the microphone could pick up maybe the whirling sounds of the hard drives or the fans uh, within the computer. Because this is a super directional focus microphone, all I have to do is just kind of point the front of the microphone away from the computer and put the back towards it. And it'll greatly reduce the, any kind of ambient or noise that is happening in the background. Maybe if the AC, let's just say if the AC is behind me, I would turn the uh, the microphone around to the point where... The AC is the, the the microphone is not picking up the pattern. That, I'm sorry, the microphone is not picking up the noise coming from the AC because of the super hyper directional um, uh, focus of the Sennheiser MKH416. Now, can you say the same thing about the TLM 103? Well, no, you can't. It will pick up those little things just a little bit more. But let me tell you something. I did do a, a comparison video between these two microphone between these two microphone videos before. I actually took these microphones outside. And the TLM-103, let me tell you something, it, it worked phenomenal in an outside environment. We are talking outside in the woods, the trees, wind blowing, this microphone still killed it. Now, of course, it killed it because I was up close and I was up close and personal. But if I was back here, uh-uh, no, no, that's a fail. So when if it comes to that apl application, then I would stick with this. If you're just doing maybe... um podcasting and there's no video whatsoever, then I would definitely su suggest a TLM-103, both $1,000 uh, microphones. You cannot go wrong with e either one of these microphones. All right, so let's do like a real quick uh, uh, example of how these microphones can be used. Uh, let me give you like a some little voiceover example reads and let's just see how, how either of them just kind of sounds. What's, what's your taste? The Sennheiser MKH416, a great microphone for YouTube content creation of the like, like podcasting, movies, televisions, voiceovers, and other stuff. Go ahead, look out in the, look, go ahead and look down in the description down below and get your MKH416 today. All right, and let's try the TLM103. The Neumann TLM103 microphone. Great microphone for YouTube content creation, podcasting, all the things and, and all that other stuff. So go ahead, get this microphone if you want to sound badass. <coughs> yeah, okay. All right, so we don't have to sound so pukey just for voiceovering. What if it's voiceover? What if you just want to do like conversational, conversational stuff? The Sennheiser MKH416, a great microphone for YouTube content creation. Go ahead, check it down in the description down below to get this microphone and snatch it up and snatch it up and make it yours. The TLM-103, the Neumann TLM-103, a great microphone for podcasting, YouTube content creation, all the others, stuff very similar, similar to it. If you want to sound great and get this microphone, go ahead, check out the description down below and get your Neumann TLM-103. So that's it. What's your verdict on these two microphones? Do you prefer the sound of the MKH416 or the TLM-103? Keep in mind, you don't have to spend $1,000 on these microphones. There are cheaper versions of microphones similar to these, like the Rode NTG2 or the Rode NT1 or the Rode NT1A in comparison to the Neumann TLM-103. Uh, Let me know what you guys think of these microphones in the comments down below. Any comments, concerns, or questions? Feel free to write them down. I will get back to you. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, go ahead and leave a like. If you loved it, feel free to subscribe. If you want to get some more details on these microphones, go ahead and check out the link down below in the description for these two microphones. See what other reviewers, other users are, re other users are saying about this microphone. Until next time, guys, I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.